Hello guys, welcome to the third instalment of the ICOM ICR30 tutorial series. So, video one, we did how to set up a search bank and program a scan edge and a few other things. Video two, we did all about squelch, which is imperative just for the basic running of the radio and any radio or any communications receiver. Today we're going to go through what you do when you found something that you want to hear again. So when you're scanning through your preset search, you land on a channel, a frequency, you want to save that so you can recall that memory again. Okay, really straightforward, really easy. Right, let's turn on the receiver. Hold that button down, we're on. Battery level should come up. All right. There we go. We're currently scanning through one of my bands, which is the marine band. We're going to stop that. Now, we may not hear anything. I'm indoors at the moment. I've been really, really busy. Fingers crossed we will. So, before we can search, at the moment we're in searching a memory group. We don't want to do that. We want to go into our VFO, our variable frequency oscillator. So, you want to go to there, VFO, MR. VFO. Okay, so now we're in where we can scan through frequencies in preset steps and see what we want to do. Notice I'm in the A band, so this receiver has two bands when you're operating in dual watch. A band is the full scope of the receiver, which I think is 0.5 kilohertz to 3500 megahertz, uh, I think. Um, and the B is 30 to 500. I'll have to check the book, but it's something like that. If you're only using one VFO, which is one band here on the top of the screen, always do your search in the A band. It's a bit of a nicer receiver. It's a triple heterodyne receiver. You should receive a little bit clearer audio, and it's the full range of the receiver. Okay, in the B band, you may not be able to search some of the banks you'd like to search. Okay. But your main ones you can, your PMR low, your PMR high. So if you remember from the first video, we set up a search bank called Taxi. So we're going to scan that now. We might not hear anything, but what we'll do is we'll pretend that we've landed on a signal and we'll commit it to memory. We might hear something, we may not. So let's go. So because we're in VFO mode, you press scan. Okay, there's our group there, Taxi. These are all my others, but Taxi. So this could be any of your bands, press enter, okay? That's going to start from where you last left off. It's not going to start from the beginning of your preset search, okay? Now we're in the PMR low band, personal mobile radio low. This, we've also set the band up to cover the marine band, okay? Which, if you live near the coast, you'll hear load. That's nothing. We'll go past that. But we are indoors, okay? That's also nothing. Go past that. So now we're getting up into the high PMR. You may not hear too many users around here, but you might get some NXDN, which is next generation digital network. Not there. Don't forget, this does not auto decode digital. You'll have to be searching in that mode to receive it. That's a data signal. Skip over that. As I say, you may not hear something. Rule number one when you're doing this sort of thing is to be patient. Because what's the likelihood of someone speaking right at the moment? Data, right at the moment you're doing a scan. What's the probability of someone speaking? It, it's low, isn't it? So we'll do two passes. If we hear nothing, we'll pretend that we have and we'll commit it to memory, okay? If we're lucky, we might. I know there are a couple of companies transmitting at the moment. There's a local taxi company, a couple of local taxi companies, a local holiday park. Um, there should be a maritime weather forecast in the next 10 minutes. So we'll go back up to the top end of our band again. But, and don't forget, change the direction, turn the knob on the top, go back, go back the way we came. Doesn't really make any odds which way you go. The probability of hearing something still pretty much remains the same. Don't forget guys to change your step size. So we're on 6.25, you can pre-select any of those and that'll change the step. Once you've done that, you don't have to reinitiate the scan, it'll just carry on going with your new step. 
Unfortunately, it doesn't display the step size anywhere on the screen, but you can work it out. So here we go. This is where you'd expect to hear odds and ends. Okay. Like I say, I'm indoors, I don't expect to hear much, but... Data signal. It's actually a Motorola paging signal from a tower up on the hill. So now we're dropping down into the marine band. Again, you've got to be bang on frequency to hear some of these. That's a data signal. The transponder off a set of temporary traffic lights, that is. Okay, so we haven't heard nothing. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back up. I'm going to stop it and we're going to pretend. Right. Stop it there. I'm going to turn the volume down. Right. Let's pretend that this is a voice transmission. Okay. It's a taxi company. It's a local amateur. It could be any frequency you like. We want to commit this to memory. Okay. Let's turn that down. Okay. So, what do you do? Figure 8 there, MW, memory right, press that. Right to new channel. Enter. Okay, then you get this screen, and this is where people fall over. This is where people really struggle. What do I press? Because you can press loads of things and get it wrong. So, press quick. Yeah. Press group select. Yeah, now these are all my groups. Okay, for this we're going to put it in a new group. Okay, group 19 on mine is blank. Okay, nothing in it, it hasn't even got a name. So we're going to do that, enter. Then press MW again and it'll say right to blank channel. Obviously you want to press yes. Completed. Okay, that's now in. So, if you want to find that. Menu, manage memory. Now remember we put it in bank 19, okay, go to 19, now notice how the blank has gone from here now because we've got a memory channel in there. Not much use to us because the bank hasn't got a name, we don't know what's in there, so quick, okay, edit name, yeah, and then remember the old phones, use it like that, let's just do, let's just pick any letters, N, H, okay, you can type whatever you like in there. Press enter, enter, NH, named, done, sorted. Now, there's only one channel in that bank, isn't there? Yeah? So we can't really do a scan on it. If you did a scan, you'd only hear that one channel, which is useless to us because it's just a data signal. So what I'm going to do now is we'll do a scan of the marine band, okay? So, we're still in VFO mode, okay? If you're in memory mode, there'd be an MR right there. So VFO MR. MR, fantastic. Now then, we're now in memory recall mode. This is where you'll do most of your scanning. Okay? When you get the receiver, or any receiver, get used to it, learn how it works, then go online and put in all the general UK frequencies. If you live by the coast, put the marine band frequencies in first. Do that first. Because you'll hear loads of stuff. Um, if it was me, I'd separate my marine band into two groups, okay? So the Coast Guard in the UK, okay, let's just, we'll take this. Channel 16 is the VHF calling channel for the Coast Guard worldwide. 16 is where you'd call Mayday. 16 is where you'd hail a vessel and then ask them to move to another channel, okay? 16 is busy with such things, so... Someone might call a ship off the coast, Mon 16, please move to 73. Then they'd move to channel 73 for general shipping information. 16 is where, if you were in the emergency situation, you'd shout Mayday. And then the Coast Guard, depending on who you are, would probably deal with you on channel 16. They wouldn't ask you to move frequency. Uh, the lifeboat, all those sort of things, they operate on channel 0, which is a lifeboat and Coast Guard private channel. I can't encourage you to listen to that. Um, if you were to buy a VHF marine radio off the shelf, it would not have channel zero in it for that reason. So, what I've done with my memory groups, if you want, you want to do a memory scan, scan, now, 
see I've got marine priority so when I say marine priority that is 16 it is 64 it is 73 74 and 12 so that's the marine bar pilot and general shipping information I'll also get the weather forecast on there as well all the other marine channels are there in marine which is all the oddball channels that are used for just general chit chat so I want to scan the marine priority group there that's now scanning through the marine priority group if anything happens we're going to hear it we're not going to hear it at the minute because nothing's happening okay now let's just say you want to scan more than one group at a time which you will want to do all the time okay let's stop that so menu scan group link now this is you're going to link all these groups together so you're going to be scanning all of these things so I've got at the top marine priority let's turn that on amateur I've got turned off because generally the amateur bands are long conversations and they could be talking for five minutes and in that five minutes you're not going to hear anything else marine locals that's local businesses air band reason I haven't got air band turned on again You'll find if you like listening to the air band, doesn't matter where you are in the UK, it's constant traffic. It is on all the time. Valley, that's RAF Valley. PMR 446, that's a personal mobile radio. The 446 denotes the frequency in which they operate. DPMR, this radio decodes DPMR, which is digital personal mobile radio. UK simple light frequencies, NXDM 48, so that's next generation digital network 48. AM radio, so AM broadcast stations, we're going to cover that's a totally different subject. Ops air, operational air, polygon, which is polygon, is really interesting. Polygon search and rescue is the handhelds that the, um, the winchmen use uh, on the Coast Guard helicopter. Fire ground UHF, Volmit HF. So Volmits are beacons that emit constant weather information to aircraft can be up to 500 miles away. There's a couple of RAF ones in the UK and there's a couple of commercial ones in the UK. These are normally around the 4.6 kilohertz. Um, we'll go through those. Land SAR, land search and rescue. Raynet. Uh, I'm not going to go into Raynet. And there's our group. I'm going to turn that off because obviously uh, it's just a data signal. So now we're going to scan through all of those things. Let's see what we hear. Okay, so scan, group link. That's now going to scan every group I've ticked. There we go. We might not hear a thing. Oh no, there we go. I'll turn it off. May hear something, may hear nothing. Not a lot going on at the moment. Okay, let's turn on. Again, it's all about patience, guys. Amateur. No, not a lot happening today, boys and girls, of course. All right, well, that is that for the time being. So now you know how to commit a channel to memory and do a memory scan, okay? Next video, we will be up a mountain and we're going to do some dual watch and go through the ins and outs of doing some dual watch operation. I hope that was informative. Sorry it was rushed. I've got so much on at the moment. Good luck using your receiver and uh, feel free to send me any questions. Thank you very much.